so the game is going to give us Victor Bartley in place of Jonathan Plum, which I think it did last time. So I'm going to swap him with Kumiski. You're going to get first pair again with Shea Weber. That seemed to work pretty well. Although I might want to promote Roman Yossi to the first pair. You know what? Let's do that. Let's put Roman Yossi first pair. And then uh, Victor Bartley. I think we had on the power play, we had um, not Butler, but it was, or maybe it was Butler that was playing the power play point. This time on the power play point, um, let's put, I guess we'll put, is Hornquist on the power play? Yeah, I'm trying to think who doesn't get power play time that would make sense. Bork? Yeah, Bork would make some sense. Let's put Bork on the point with Shea Weber for the power play for the time being while Jonathan Blum is out. And Bartley here, this is fine. The rest is fine. I'm going to leave the rest as is. And then, yeah, that doesn't affect anything else. So the only changes that I have to make... Well, what's the penalty kill? Bartley's in on the penalty kill. And I'd rather that actually be Kumiski. So I'm going to put Kumiski on the penalty kill. And actually, would Kumiski make sense here instead of Bork? I'm going to use Bork on the point for now. So that's the main change. And then four-man, I'm not worried about that. Penalty kill, I'm more concerned about. We're putting Hal Gill on the penalty kill here, so that'll be Blum when he comes back from injury. Or was it uh, Or was it Comiskey? I think it was Comiskey, actually, wasn't it? Yeah, so Comiskey instead. So we're going to put Blum on the second penalty kill unit beside Klein here. Coming off of a uh, one of the ugliest, I think the ugliest game in the whole season, we have struggled against the Red Wings. When do we get the Red Wings again? I think we've got a meeting with them shortly. We do. It's at Joe Louis Arena coming up at the turn of the new year. I'm not, I don't know if I'm looking forward to that, but Pecorino, you got to be ready for that game. You got to be ready for that game. So speaking of goaltenders, we're going to go with Chris Mason in this game. I, I know that we've had a couple of days off since that 5-2 to two loss. We've had two days off here. And see, we've been struggling lately. We've been losing games. We've been dropping some of them. Some in regs, some in shootout. But we're going to go back to Chris Mason, give Pex the night off, and then we'll go back to Peck Arena on the road in Carolina. And then we're going to play Tampa again in their building in a couple of games time. It would be nice to get, you know, the first first line, first top two lines going again. It's been a while since we've seen Kostitsin score a goal. It would be nice to see him to get hot again. Hopefully we brought out the memory eraser and forgot all about that Red Wings game because that game pissed me off so much that I'm recording this one and the Red Wings game back to back. Not that that necessarily matters because this will all be uploaded as an individual episode. They've gone with Anders Lindback in that, so probably a great idea to go to Chris Mason. Speaking of which, there he is. 920, having a pretty decent season in the net. He's rarely been gone to but I felt like Rene definitely earned a night off. And it's time for us to start playing with a little bit of structure. We need to play with greater structure in this game. One of the things that we didn't do against the Red Wings is we just did not control or possess the puck. And we also did not dump the puck in much. Now, I don't want to dump the puck in all night on the... On, or, or on the... On, on, God, I'm a, where's my brain at right now? My brain is just overloaded from that Red Wings game. I don't want to... Oh, no! I don't want to dump the puck in all night, every possession. That's what I meant to say, not power play. I meant to say possession. But we are going to try to dump it in more frequently. And we're already picking up where we left off against the Red Wings, where we got to start boxing some guys out in front of the net. Let's go to protect the net strategy. Let's just see if that changes things. The problem is we got to get on those point guys. We got to break the puck out here. Got space and time with Cust Eatson. Skating into Vinny LeCavalier, so good job. Good crossing move there with leg one. Bumped. Couldn't get the shot. Spaling passes off to the half wall for some reason. There's not a player anywhere near the half wall. That's going to bank out. And I talked about dumping the puck in. That was a perfect opportunity to dump the puck in. 
where it was necessary. Le Cavalier, we got retribution on him and up to David Leguan. Now, I would like to pull up on the half wall, back to Gill, feed it over to Klein. We're also missing Jonathan Blum. There's a nice backhander from Spaling. Teddy Purcell bumped off of it and poked back in. We're gonna try to get into the attacking zone, start chipping away, grinding away. We've got guys in front of the net. Bank pass finds Klein to Gill. The defenseman shooting the puck already in this game. That's gotta be our strategy. If, if it's the only way we can find offense, we need to do a better job at finding offense and dictating the pace of play that we never did against Detroit. We're off to a decent start against Tampa, but this is a lesser Tampa team than Whoa, a stick break on that from Mike Fisher. Might want to ask for a refund on that stick. Defending Marty St. Louis. We're going to try not to give him too much space. And he will shoot off the blocker. We're going to wrap it around the area behind the net and up to Fisher now. And I'm going to fly this in. Don't have a whole lot of speed. Should have done more of that against Detroit. In hind It's all in hindsight, but we definitely should have dumped the puck in more against the Red Wings. I just was... Not confident that we would get the retrieval. Hockey is a game of a lot of times. Hockey is a game. It's a fast game, but it's a game of a lot of patience. Most of the time, St. Louis with a great pull up there has drawn a penalty. And Hal Gill is, he's just slow in this game. He's just slow in this video game. He's, he's one of the, he's got to be the slowest defenseman on our team. I feel like defending with him is a chore. <laughs> I just, I don't like trying to defend with Hal Gill. And we're missing Jonathan Blum. This is one of the worst power plays in the NHL. So, I mean, that being said, this is a power play that has Steven Stamkos on it and Le Cavalier and I assume Marty St. Louis. Actually, all three of those guys are the forward unit on the power play for the Tampa Bay Lightning. So that's a lot of firepower. And yet we've played the best power play in the league in the Red Wings. And I don't think we, we may have given up a power play goal in that game, but we took so many power, so many penalties, gave them so many power plays that, I mean, it was a given they were probably going to score, but we were pretty good on the kill is what I'm getting at. We were pretty decent on the kill in that last attempt and a nice save at the top of the paint. We're going to hold on to that because he's so far out at the top of the crease. I think the key, if you're not controlling the game offensively and you're giving up a lot of shots, you got to control the pace in terms of taking whistles. We should have done more of that as well against the Red Wings, but again, that is all in hindsight. You learn from your bad games. Your bad games can teach you a lot. Oh, we've taken, we, we, or we've drawn a penalty. I want to say we've taken, but we've drawn a penalty. The Lightning have taken one, and that's going to put the game at four on four. It was Teddy Purcell, but what did he do? It looked like the signal from the referee was a slash. And it's, it is. Well, it was very awkward because he was getting, he was, yeah, it's, it is a slash. He was getting body checked at the same time that the slash happened. So it's kind of an awkward one. I didn't expect the penalty to be called on that. And let's keep this puck inside the blue line. Oh, that's, that's a problem. We always have guys standing in front of the net or in that area. And we, every time we shoot it from the point, someone for our team blocks it down. The slow Hal Gill is on the ice, so that's great. We're gonna find out what our new, newly formed power play can do. Not much when you're handing the puck over. All right, here we go. Up to Spaling, let's go. Let's get on the offensive side of the puck for once. Peel back, back to Comiskey. Now spread it out. Yossi, off the post. Our defensemen continue at the post. That was a theme in the last game. And we can't keep it in. Quickly rimming it right back up. Yossi got to get out of dodge here with that play. Good play. Wilson dropped off for Hornquist. Got to stick handle around some guys here. He does. Held on to it. Made that a tough save for Lynn back. There we go. Good support from the point guys. Yossi blocked as well. It just once again gets blocked and we missed a pass. And the Lightning have killed off a power play. We continue to struggle on our power. Our power play could... Struggles continue, and we might just be best served to send it back in. Although that was not how I wanted to send the puck back in. 
I got the guy that's driving the net. Oh, there we go. I, oh, what a pass up the Bork as well. And then he does whatever the hell that was. Send it in. Gossett has plenty of speed. He's going to hold up behind the net. Try to get it to the net. Klein or Kloon. So it looks like we put our fourth line out there. They were one of the better lines in the last game. Bork has hit Purcell after the whistle, and Purcell doesn't like it. Well, that's too bad. Ah, that was a great chance. That was Roman Yossi. Oh, we couldn't win the faceoff. We'll play between the dots. Between the dots. I did play between the dots, and Malone gets a good chance away. Yeah. We're, we're a mess defensively. We have been for the last few games. We're not playing our best stretch of hockey. Where's the puck at? Oh, it's at the... I had no idea where the puck was. Not very helpful when you're trying to break it out and you don't know where the puck is. Just get it over the blue line. I don't want to play games with this. Oh, oh there we go. I, would, I didn't want that to be an offside play. Fisher, that was a good play to make it to Mike Fisher. Down low, grind it. Penalty coming up to the Lightning. Interference, perhaps? No, uh, cross check? I'm not sure. I didn't see where this happened. It's Steven Stamkos. Yeah, it is. It is. It is cross-checking. It's right there. It's the same call that they made. Oh, checking from behind. It's the same call that they made in the in the last game against Detroit. It was our first penalty of that game. So we go right back to the power play. But this is not an abbreviated power play. That's the difference. And if you can get that full two minutes on the power play, it makes all the difference in the world. Because now we can do this. Oh, well, I didn't mean that specifically, but... I wanted Shea Weber to shoot that and potentially get a goal for us. And I think we just taken a, a checking from behind penalty ourselves. Oh. <laughs> Man, the frustration continues. It's the same side of the rink as well. It's the same exact spot on the ice. Boarding on this one. You can call that checking from behind as well. And much like Tampa, we negate our power play. They negated their power play at the very end of their power play. We negate our power play before it even really got started. But that's fine. We'll play a four on four for an extended period of time here. Now, Bartley, you got to show why you're in the lineup here at this four on four stage. I didn't really change the defense the defense pairings because I didn't think we'd be seeing much four on four but we have that's for you Wilson oh no he didn't even hit the net he had a breakaway he didn't even hit the net we needed that he had such great speed to break away from the defenders to get to that loose puck and then get in on the in on net and oh whoa 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 can I get control of someone else you don't run into Mason like that Again, our face-off struggles continue. They've hit the post and out of play. And I think we're going to return to five on five. A bit of a chaotic start to this game. So we got to work with our centers in practice on how to win face-offs. We really do. And we lose another one with Mike Fisher, who should be winning some of these face-offs. He's a, a top center. He's very capable. He's a veteran player. He's very capable of winning face-offs. The backdoor guy. And it went off Hedman. Oh, Hornquist. That's my fault. I have no one to blame but myself with that penalty. I took the... I, it's from behind. So if you're, if you're trailing, if you're chasing a player and you poke check like that, it's almost guaranteed a tripping penalty in this game. And I mean, I think it should be. I mean, think about it. Even in real life, if you go to try and attempt a poke check from behind a player and you get them in the skates, you're probably gonna, you're more than likely gonna trip that player. Oh, that's a goal. That's not a goal, it is a goal. No one was in front of the net. We all went chasing the puck and no one was in front of the net. It's only a matter of time until, I mean, no one, no one is even close to trying to defend the Cavalier. By the time Weber got there, it was way too late. I recognize that. 
with the rebound. We are a freaking disaster. We are a disaster train of a team right now. Where's our offense? These goalies are getting way too good. Jimmy Howard in the last game. Lynn back so far in this game. Although we haven't made him really work for it. But even though he hasn't worked for it, he's got a good glove right there. Mike Fisher, please win a faceoff. There we go. That's a start. We can't do anything if we don't win these freaking faceoffs. I got to be careful poke checking when trailing the player. I just got done making that whole speech. I got to be I got to be better defending off the rush. Where is our ability to defend off the rush gone? And I think that's just going to be the end of the period. It is basically going to expire down in the Tampa zone. Don't give up putting pressure on him though. Well, if you're a fan of the Nashville Predators, you have every right to be upset with the team's performance as of late. We have not been putting it together on the ice surface out here. Uh, oh, well, I'll just cruise right down Main Street with Roman Yossi then. Got to be thrown in! Patrick Hornquist! I was just trying to throw that on net. I didn't think that would actually go in the net. And that's his seventh of the year. We need some of these guys to start stepping up and scoring more goals. I think this is our second line because we've opened each period with our second line. That is deliberate on my part. I wanted to use the second line to start the game off. And you need your top six. I said this in the beginning of the, of the episode. If we can get our top six going, that would be preferential. We need to use our top six players. They need to start scoring more. We haven't seen a goal from Kostitsin in a while. It would be nice to get David Leguan going, but specifically the wingers. We really need to get going. Our, our wings need to get going. That's going to be blocked off the Tampa player in front. Just pin him. There we go. Weber. Now Kostitsin. The aforementioned Kostitsin. But a, a mishandle at the blue line means the puck is not out. And Tampa pressure. If you'd stop spinning around, you know, we'd actually have broken that puck out. And instead, we're just having to block shots with our, our best forwards are having to block shots. And it's Kalorn point blank. Oh, this team defensively needs something. They need some, some wake up juice. I also call that coffee. No one open, no one wanna get open, no one's working for it. All kinds of pressure from Tampa. We just gotta send it in. They're tough on the blue line. They are really defending that blue line stout. All right, which side are you going with it, Oland? Get over on that side. They're using that weak side breakout. Let's make sure we get a defender over there. Don't make the breakout so easy for this team. Pin him. Pin him. Yes. Hack and whack time. Oh, my goodness. The pressure from Tampa. This is just... This is immense pressure. Take a whistle. Goodness gracious. This is getting really frustrating. The inability to just make a simple breakout play happen. There we go. Just out of frustration, just send it all the way down the ice. That's one way to break it out. That's not a penalty. I'll take that. If that's not a penalty all any day of the week, I'll take that. Stay in there, Hallis Chuck. Everyone needs to stay on that side of the rink. Over to Weber. It's behind Shea Weber. That's not offside. Goodness gracious, the puck, the, the skating, the player control is janky as hell today for some reason as well. That's not making it any easier to actually make, make plays and make things happen. And it's not good for my sanity. Why are my D collapsing so much? I mean, why do my D collapse so freaking much on the rush? Oh my goodness gracious. I didn't mean to skip the replay, but I'm, I'm getting pissed off with this. This is ridiculous. I, I intended to throw that to the boards. We need to get into some open space for ourselves. I get the feeling that's not really going to work. Dropped it back, and he got knocked down before he could actually make the passing play. Get on, Kalorn. Get on him. Rimming it around. Go, 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 go. Smith. Where are you deking, Smith? Smith. Shoot it. No shot. That's a shot from Kostitsin. 
When it doesn't go right, this game can be incredibly frustrating to play. It really can be. There's my support. I just gotta go back to playing basic hockey. But even when I try to just make basic plays, we can't even connect on a simple passing play. The breakout is there and you're not connecting on it. God, thank God they got offside. I mean, I, it becomes enraging. There we, we're on top of the players. We're right there on the four check. We just can't get repossession. Please crash the... There's no excuse for Wilson to not score on that. There is no excuse for him to not score on that. Do you like that? Do you like that, huh? Do you like that? Do you like that? You like that? You like that? I think we're about to go to four on four. <laughs> this, this, this AI pisses me off. There's no reason that shouldn't have been a goal. There's no reason that Colin Wilson could not have tapped that right in the net. Mike Fisher, you have to win one. He has, but you know, he win, He didn't win it as cleanly as he needed to. So even when we're winning them, we're not winning them the way we need to. There we go, Mike Fisher will celebrate a goal. And that's why you just get it to the net sometimes. You put people in front of the net, you have net front presence, you create a loose play for the puck, and then someone's got, got to be bound and determined to cash in. Is Mike Fisher the center? And poor Craig Smith took the brunt of that puck. <laughs> His sacrifice is not in vain. Look at it this way, Craig Smith. You got an assist off the chest, so... I know the rips may be a little bit bruised tomorrow, but it is it is totally worth it. I'm just put some ice on it. See, this is this is just what I don't get about this game. Tampa is they're throwing the puck from way outside. Where are we not getting the puck there, leg one? They're throwing the puck from outside off the rush. And they have like three guys driving in the net. And we don't have anyone collapsing down low to try and defend or collapse to get to the rebound I don't know how we kept that in I was not expecting to keep that puck in that's got to be on net and you see what's happening Lind Lindback is not controlling these rebounds very well he's giving up a lot of juicy rebounds go we've created the transition opportunity for you Spaling 10 and 2 off the rush Lindback has that one Probably should shoot that really low to the pad intentionally, create a huge rebound, and then someone's crashing the net. When you have players crashing the net like that, I just want to get it through. Victor Bartley has scored from the point. Again, another shot where we're just trying to get something through on net, and it leads to a goal. That is the second of the year for the defenseman. Just walk right down the middle and just shoot it. There's nothing wrong with that. You're just trying to create a chance on net. Now, no one's really in the... No one's even close to the blue paint to get a rebound. But you're just trying to throw it on net. That's all that is. You win a face-off, throw it on net. That has paid off twice in this game. We had Patrick Hornquist scoring from downtown. And now we've got Victor Bartley scoring. Not, not very far out, but... Still, a defenseman scoring on a shot that Lindback should have had a save on. Oh, what a move by Hornquist. It led to Fisher's decent opportunity. And sometimes, I mean, even these failed deeks can lead to odd opportunities for other players. So there's nothing wrong with trying a, a little deke here and there. Too, cranked it too high there with Shea Weber. And because we missed the puck that kicked out the other side, it's led to this chance for Tampa Bay. It's not helping me, Roman Yossi, that you want to come defend this side of the ice. I have it. I'm the right defenseman. I got it. You defend your side. Well, actually, I'm not even the defenseman there. That was a forward I had brought back, but he was the first man that came back. Rebounds. Lots of them. There we go. And the net's come off. I was expecting a penalty, but the net has come off. I was about to start setting up a zone possession, and of course the net would come off right there. So now we've gone back to the third pair. I think this is the third. No, this is the second pairing. This is Klein and Gill. And uh, Gill, just because he's so slow compared to everyone else in this game, 
He's one of my least favorite players to defend with. That was a move and a half by St. Louis. Mason almost doesn't know where it is. Fortunately, I do. There it is, Fisher. There we go. Now our breakout's coming together. Hornquist took a bit of a spill at the end of that play, but that's Hedman you're trying to walk around. Now, play positionally sound defense. I need to really just, like I said, I need to just get back to playing basic hockey, basic defending. Hedman has missed the net. What are my options here on the breakout? No one's getting on the wing. We've taken Craig Smith a long time to get up there. And he's got it. Lost it. Got a little too audacious with that deke. That's fine. I felt the pressure was coming on, so I decided to do the deke and see if I could get myself into some open space. It didn't work. Again, we've knocked it down. At least we got possession this time. Rim it around. And you got to go right to take a penalty. Good job. The numbers were definitely... He was definitely facing numbers. <sighs> I should have held up. I couldn't help myself. I wanted to ride Purcell right into the glass. <sighs> Eternal frustration out here. We're going to win a face-off, and we're going to end the period. Oh, no, we're not. That was clown world stuff at the end of the period. I'm lucky we didn't get scored on. Let's just, let's just get through the third period. We got a lead. We are securing a lead right now. And we need to do that even more with the penalty kill that's in front of us. This is a big kill. Get right on these guys, man. Do a better job defending. Close off your gaps. Don't give them any space. It's got to be right out. There we go. I need to not be so aggressive with it on the penalty kill. We need to approach this like a realistic penalty kill would. When we have a chance to get it down the ice, I think we need to just simply get it down the ice. Unless you're trailing in a game and it's desperation time. We're not trailing in this game. It isn't desperation time for us. So let's just let's just wind this down the ice. There we go. Right down the rink. Mike Fisher's got so much more speed. That was beautifully done. Don't know where that deke was trying to go. Lindback has decided to just hold on to it. Now I'm just giving him a little love tap with Mike Fisher's stick there. You gotta shoot it. Oh, rejected back away from the net by Lindback. Play, play between the dots more. There we go. Don't go chasing that guy to the outside too much. Blocked off the hip of Kumiski. It ended up on net. And now we can not clear. Okay, but we're back to five on five. So penalty kill, play at five on five where we do best. Nice. Again, another failed deke that ended up on Mike Fisher's stick. It led to a Mike Fisher shot on net. Back up. And it's kept in by Tampa Bay. We've tried to do this multiple times where we just tried to simply get the puck over the blue line, and we have failed to do so because Tampa's kept the puck in. That's not the first time that's happened in this one. That's way offside. If we can win this, I do want to skate up to the red line, dump it in, go chase it down. Just dump it in. It's a fourth line on the ice as well, so a good line to go four check with. Where where was that? And uh, that was okay. I wasn't trying to send it all the way around to the point. Deflected. Batted out of midair by Gostad. In front of the net. Clune. Okay, fourth line, I see you. Fourth line is going to get some, some extra ice time if they keep this up. I'm not going to try to go chasing too aggressively here. My defenseman, Yossi, plant yourself in front of the net. Now we, now we need to go help out Shea Weber. Okay, we vacated the front of the net, and then we didn't get possession, but that's the risk if you do vacate the front of the net. Change with me. Spaling. A move that didn't work as well. One of these days, one of these moves is going to work. One of these slick deeks is going to end up in a, in a highlight real goal for the whole season. I believe in it. I can get the stick skills. Oh, that was almost going in. 
That was almost one of those moves. That was Kostitsin that created it. Hal Gill had it knocked down at the blue line, but we couldn't get possession back. Trying to move it back up the boards, but we didn't have a teammate anywhere near the boards to create a breakout opportunity for ourselves. Shea Weber has got to go off the boards and out over the blue line, but it has gotten out of the zone. Gill, for once, is actually using some speed to get to a loose puck. Don't vacate the front of the net just yet. Tampa's bringing it on. They're bringing a surge of pressure. Oh, no, we missed a pass. Don't miss this one. Fisher is bumped, and the Tampa pressure continues. Even when we look like we're certainly going to get it out, we just don't. That's deflected in on Mason. I'm just going to take an icing because I just can't play around with this. We need to take a face-off, risk a face-off, and try to win the freaking face-off. Oh, man, the frustration. We had like a good three or four opportunities to get the puck out there, and we just couldn't do it. And we, we still can't do it because we just can't connect on a basic pass. If Shea Weber wasn't standing still on that play, we would have easily had it. But he's standing still. He's standing there just watching the play develop. In the corner, Bartley up the board. That's not what we... Why are we continuously god-awful on the breakout? Continuously atrocious breakout. A shot from Wilson. It's over the net, though. I'm trying to move the puck, but no one's going to get toward the half wall to help that play out. I need more support from my teammates. My teammates are not providing enough support when we have it pinned along the boards like that. Wilson in a battle with Oland. AIs are winning so many 50-50 battles in this game. It's a good pass to Purcell. It's a shame that we can't make plays like that in this one. Rink wide to Kostitsin. It's a little behind him. And Lindback will catch that through the traffic. This might be a good game to get an empty net opportunity for Sergei Kostitsin. He needs to get back on the stat sheet. Bartley missed the net. Was trying to take that slap shot short side. It's so hard to score short side like that. We're giving them a lot of space in the, in the neutral ice, which is why they're stretching this play out like that, the way that they have. We're giving them way too much space, way too much freedom. Oh, no. Don't do that. He almost one-handed that into the net off of Mason. Batted back to center. The Tampa Bay... Four check and neutral zone pressure continues to be a nuisance for our team to deal with. Now get on this board and help out. There we go, Rich Clune. Walker side saved by Lindback. We got to get it back in on net. Fire the cannon. We're just trying to get to the end of the game now. That's what we're looking at. We're just looking at getting to the end of the game. And Yossi spun himself offside. It's, you don't have fine control. You really don't have fine control over the puck at the blue line. The, the skating at the blue line is, it's 50-50. If, you if your guy manages to keep it in, but the players in this game have no idea where the hell the blue line is. Get back on defense. We are playing to, to secure victory right now. Move it for Weber. Oh, cross rink. Just made that pass in time. Oh, they knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to do the little 10 and 2 move that we scored with. with uh, I don't remember who scored it. Was it Hallis Chuck in the last game? Yelsey. God, this awkward like pivoting that these players do. It's a little dribbler off of a body or a stick in front. Fisher missed it. We're going to get an empty net scenario if we can keep this up. Now, 
I am well aware that Tampa's got plenty of game left to score a game time goal. I hope that doesn't happen. I'm looking for the most sensible option on this breakout. Is the net empty? It's not empty. Oh, Shea Weber, you gotta get that. It was there. Turn it right back up ice into the, into the neutral zone. Roman Yossi will peel away. Now, this is not a bad option to just float it toward the net. I didn't want to hit St. Louis too, too hard on that play because that would have been a penalty. Smith, no one's there. Lindback has skated to the bench. And that is an icing. Oh, that's an icing. That's not good. I had a guy there, and I just missed him. Kostitsin's not on the ice, and because it's an icing, we can't, we can't change players. Klein will probably have an empty net goal here. He will kneel before the fans here. In celebration, we're going to get a regulation win. It's a nice bounce back from that awful game against the Red Wings. We didn't play particularly clean, but it's been tough sledding for our team lately, to be completely fair. We have not been playing our best. This has been our worst stretch of hockey of the whole season, and, and it's not even that bad. But we need to start breaking up some of these losses with a few wins. We were able to get that shootout win up in Toronto. That was crucial that we were able to win that game. Coming off of that Detroit game, able to get two points at the end of the night. I don't care about giving Toronto... Excuse me, I burped. <laughs> um, I don't care about giving Toronto a, a, a point in that game. Mike Fisher going for a second goal. What's going on with the puck? The horn has sounded. We've secured another two points in the standings. Oh, Jonathan Blum is back. He's available to play in the next game. Yeah, let's just go and put him back in the uh, back in the lineup. So that means Victor Bartley, you're done. He got a goal in the last game. I, Victor Bartley has been able to score some goals this season. He has a, a handful of them. So do we really want to take Bartley out <laughs> at this point? He's played pretty well, but we are going to we are going to scratch Victor Bartley. So I don't know if I can do that from here. Scratch the player and sub in Jonathan Blum. And then, uh, you know what? I liked Roman Yossi on the first pair with Weber. We tried that. And so I'm going to move Hal Gill. You're going to get bottom pairing minutes. Blum moved to the left side on the second pair. How about that? We'll try that out for a change. And on the power play, uh, yeah, we got to put Blum back in there. I'm going on, uh, in on the power play. Blum here. Okay. So we're not using Blum on the penalty kill, but... He does get his ice time on the power play, and he's going to get his ice time at 5-on-5, five five, even though he's now moved to the second defensive pairing. 